So Jeannie asks, I'm about to launch a podcast this month. What's a good pre-launch and launch strategy? So first of all, congratulations. And uh, secondly, let's just walk through some of the some of the steps, some of the things you want to keep in mind. First of all, uh, not a bad idea to record like eight episodes, 10 if you can. The more, the better. Um, that's going to get you out in front of your podcast and let you focus on the promotion of it and all those other things um, so you don't get feel that pressure of always like, oh, I got to do a podcast. Oh, I got to do a podcast. Oh, I got to do a podcast, which is actually where I'm at right this very minute. Uh, I am behind two weeks on my podcast and uh, it's, it's, it's the worst feeling. Okay. Um, let's see here. Get your entire process and system in place. We're going to share a link. Actually, Nico, we'll put a link in the show notes to our, the system that we use for our podcast production. We outsource the editing and the show notes, but everything else for the promotional part and what we do after the fact, um, it is, we've got it down to a science now. So literally all I have to do is walk into my studio, which you're asking then why haven't you recorded those two episodes, Jen? I, mean, I know, right? Like I have no excuse because all I have to do is walk in, press play and like we're off to the races because we have everything so systemized. So, um, so take a look at that. You all of course have access to that Trello board. Uh, what you should do is make a copy of that Trello board um, so you could keep it as your own okay and at the end if you need me to show you how to copy a trello board i will show you there's also tutorials on how to do that inside of vip um, the next thing you want to do is set up king sumo okay so i'm not going to walk through that right now but that is an app sumo app and it's free it was free for a long time if it's not free right now then it's going to be very inexpensive it really is a fantastic contest app and what it allows you to do is um, it allows you to promote your podcast in advance, <clears throat> incentivize people for sharing it. So I'm going to show you a couple of people who've done this very well. Um, and so you could say like, um, review my podcast. My podcast is coming up, share this, um, review it, uh, share it on Twitter and you're going to get three more entries Share it on Facebook. You'll get 10. Right. You, you're going to offer some prizes, but everything else is automated by King Sumo. They keep track of the entries. They pick the winner. They do it all. And it's so plug and play. So click, click, click. So easy. Um, and um, we've launched a lot of podcasts these last couple of quarters in front row uh, VIP accelerator and, uh, they've all used King Sumo. Um, and I would say with um, varying degrees of success, but all with success. I mean, it's like, it's up to you to send it out there. So the more you send it out there, the more people are going to see it and the more people are going to participate. Um, you want to get your audience excited in advance. So when you launch a podcast, it's, it's a big event. Don't let, see, I didn't do any of this because my, I had an unusual story to the way that my podcast began. Um, <laughs> And so I didn't do any of this stuff. I mean, I actually knew that you were supposed to at that time, but I just, that's another story. But it, um, but this is, this is really important. Get, don't squander this opportunity. Get your audience excited before it ever happens. And again, I'm going to show you a really good example. And then on launch day, you're going to publish three, your first three episodes. Um, that still tends to be the uh, best practice. It has to do with, um, Apple seeing that you're legitimate gives you a better, um, uh, more likelihood of showing up in the new and notable um, area. So does getting the reviews and getting the listens early on, which is why you're promoting this all to begin with. You want to get, um, you want to get that good juju. Okay, so now uh, let's see. Uh, push your King Sumo contest. Uh, oh, and email everybody. This is when you email your friends and family, even the people who maybe aren't your target audience. It's okay. You're going to say, hey, do me a favor. Go over to iTunes. Leave me a review. Um, subscribe to the podcast. You want leave no stern, uh, no stone unturned. And then um, and you're going to be posting your your um, in advance. And when it launches, you're going to be posting your King Sumo uh contest everywhere okay so um kelsey uh was in the accelerator and launched this fantastic podcast called 
um, from the heart of a renegade. And I loved this. So this is a post that she put on Facebook and it says, um, four weird facts. So immediately you want to click, right? Like I was like, Ooh, this is juicy. I want to click. So I clicked through. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's going to take us to the post. Okay. Okay. So four weird facts. So here, Fact number one, we didn't have a name, a vision, branding, an idea, or a lick of direction for the podcast when we recorded the first episode. Number two, we've cried in three of three episodes so far. We may be the softest, most sensitive, and emotional renegades out there. Fact number three, our office is basically a greenhouse, which resulted in episode number two and three to be recorded without pants on. <laughs> And fact number four, we shared explicit things we've never shared before, even with each other. So, I mean, I was like, I saw this and I just went nuts. I was like, oh, I got, I was like immediately got a boxer and I was like, this was so good. This is the best, the best um, first episode teasers I've ever seen because I couldn't wait to hear the episode and I know their story, you know? Um, so, so good. And then if you look in the comments, she's promoting the King Sumo and she says, uh, along with the podcast, we're dropping a very exciting giveaway next week. If you leave a review and subscribe, you're going to be entered to win some Bob Marley headphones, a $50 gift card, um, stickers, buttons, and a badass shirt, plus a shout out on the podcast. Hope you'll turn it, tune in. And um, oh my God, they, she got, they got a great reception to this. And you know, they really, um, they don't have actually a huge following on Instagram. They don't have a huge social media following, but this really did the trick. Um, are you, okay, tell me if you see the next slide. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. Tell me if you see the next slide. Nod your head. Okay, so this is another accelerator. Um, we launched a lot of podcasts <laughs> in Accelerator these last two quarters. Um, this is Sandra Scaiano. Also, her podcast is phenomenal. It's called The Long Game. She's got this Jersey thing going, and she's got this raspy voice, but she's also smart as can be. She's also a VIP -er. Um, And she just did the cover, like, she did a cover of her podcast, gorgeous, right? She's just, it's like, the whole image is so beautiful. And... Um, and then she just says, like, my podcast is launching next week. She didn't go crazy with her promotion, but, but, um, but she did promote it. She emailed her list and uh, just really, really important to do. Um, so, Jeannie, hopefully that was helpful and good luck.